Women make up almost half the U.S. workforce, but the number is significantly lower for women of color, especially in certain industries. But we are seeing a shift. CBS 8's Jesse Pagan shows us a San Diego woman proving women and Latinas can rise to the top of the automotive world. When you walk into Hello Mazda San Diego in Kearney Mesa, we're greeting you with a hello. Idalis Maldonado might very well be the one greeting you at the front desk. Awesome. Do you know who that's with? She might also be refilling the printer and signing off on your paperwork as the dealership's general manager. Well, there's days that people come in and they look at me and they say, oh, can I talk to the GM? And then I say, oh, how can I help you? And they're like, oh, you're the GM? And I'm like, yeah. She's used to surprising people, given she's a rare breed of boss in the industry. According to the latest U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics data, women make up 47% of the workforce. Women of color, including Latinas, make up 18%. And in the automotive industry, just six. I honestly feel like it has to do with fear, right? Women, we, we really fear what, what they're going to think and what's going to happen and they'll never listen to me. But that's exactly the glass that needs to be broken. And Idalis says her experience in a heavily male industry has shown her it can be done and it might be easier than you think. They respect the, the whole, hey, she's a woman, she's Latina, she's great. You know, she's not afraid to speak up and really just tell you her opinion. And I think that that's what makes you make it, right? Hello Auto seems to agree. Idalis says her counterpart in Temecula is also a Latina. Despite progress, data from the U.S. Department of Labor shows Latinas still lag in several categories within the workforce. For example, on average, Latinos make 13 percent more money than Latinas in the same jobs. Idalis says changing that and rising to other new highs are possible when you put your mind to it. I always say go for your dream. It's never impossible. If you put your mind to it, it definitely will happen. In Kearney Mesa, Jesse Pagan, CBS 8. And Jesse is always looking for more stories to talk about Mi Gente. If you know of a Latino-owned business, an organization helping Latinos in San Diego, or a Latino with a story to tell, we want to know. Email us at yourstories at cbs8.com, and you can also find and DM Jesse on social media.